What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Rav My YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine Ethereum POW in Windows 10 and Hive OS on Nvidia and AMD GPUs. Are you currently mining Flux? Are you utilizing fluxpools.net to maximize your potential earnings? Fluxpools.net has revamped their entire process to all its loyal miners. So they understand that getting one Flux is soon going to be very, very difficult ever since the merge. In the past, they have given away over 5,000 Flux per month to its loyal miners. They are revamping it to five miners each week will now win $50 in Flux for keeping a 95% uptime. This will run for an entire 12 months, one year. There's also 0% pool fees and parallel assets fees until October 5th. There's also a weekly loyalty program, which does last forever. Keeping at least a 97% uptime does give you four flux per week per one kilosol. And to all you very loyal miners out there for keeping a 99.5% uptime at fluxpools.net, you will be granted with 1.7 kilosols of hash rate pointed at your address for 48 hours. Check out fluxpools.net today and earn more flux. Before I do show you how to mine FPOW, there's a few questions I've been asked and this should answer a bunch of these for you guys because I'm sure you may be curious as well. So how about the mining algorithm, block size, DAG size, EIP 1559, and the difficulty bomb? So trying to make minimum changes to keep the POW based Ethereum with chain sustainability in mind, thus most will be kept the same. So far, the difficulty bomb is disabled. So there is no difficulty bomb within FPOW. They got rid of it. Uh, and for EIP 1559, the base fee will be initially governed by miners, the core and the community who care about the FW to cover FW infrastructure costs and the rest will be distributed to miners. Uh, the core plans to support four gigabyte DAG size later. So this means right now when they did fork, everything is exactly the same as Ethereum. It is over that five gigabyte DAG size limit and they plan on revamping it later on to drop it below four gigabytes to allow more and more GPUs and hardware onto the network. There is no plan to making the mining algorithm to be ASIC resistant. So it's exactly the same. It is ETHash, anything that could mine Ethereum previously at the five gigabyte DAG limit can mine it right now. And then again, later on, they will drop that four gigabyte a little bit lower to the DAG. So the first thing we are gonna need is a wallet. So if you missed yesterday's video and I showed you how to set up the MetaMask for FW, be sure to check that out. I also just found out that crypto.com's DeFi wallet, which is non-custodial, you do own the private keys and seed phrases. So I am probably gonna use this wallet myself. But we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see that it was actually added FW, FPOW into the wallet. So this is the wallet I'm going to use myself. So just like regular Ethereum, if you're on NVIDIA, you are going to want to utilize T-Rex. And for all you AMD guys out there, you are going to want to utilize Team Red Miner. Everything's pretty much the exactly the same as setting up Ethereum. So now we got to choose a pool and I have not mined it yet. So I don't know what a go-to pool would be. I do recognize Wooly Pooly. So that is who I'm probably going to choose in this case. Uh, two miners looks like they're from Germany here and F2 pool. They got a bad track record of, you know, not doing some very good things and cheating its miners. Again, I'm not confirming anything, but you know, there's a lot of rumors floating around there. They're also at 38%. I recommend everyone to always stay away from the top pool, especially if it's getting close to that 45 to 50% range. Guys, decentralization, try to remain, uh, spread your hash rate around. It's just better for all these networks. So like I said, Wooly Pooly, here you simply click on the connection button, select our pool type and everything. So I'm going PPLNS. And then we do have all of our regions here. I'm from Canada. I do have a nice latency to Canada, to Wooly Pooly. So this is who I'm going to utilize. Now let's go to our miners and start setting this up. So once you do download and extract your miner, in this case, we're using T-Rex for NVIDIA, go to any of these Ethereum based bat files. And if you've already been mining in Windows, just use the exact same one you previously were using here. I'm going to utilize Flexpool. Everything's already set up. All I got to do 
is, well, I got to change them to my new address here, depending on the wallet address you're using. Some may be the same address, other ones won't. So be sure to double check depending on the wallet and what if your wallet does support FW as well. But all we got to do here now is change out our address, which is here, and then put in my new address here. I'm going to leave all the overclocks and everything will be exactly the same as Ethereum. All right, so I'm going to delete the old address and copy in my crypto.com DeFi address. Next up, we're going to come back into here and get rid of the stratum, our US flex pool, because Ethereum is gone. We're going to come back into Wooly Pooly. I'm simply going to copy this stratum right here, bring up our file, and paste that in. And then you can set your overclock. So this is an RTX 3080. I do run the overclocks with the bat file, that way I don't have to utilize Afterburner or anything. So you put your little uh, dash dash here, lock dash C clock, and then space. I run 1070. This is locking my core at 1070. And then you do this command here, dash dash M clock. And I got a space here for 1280. So 1280 on the memory. If you're in Hive OS, you would be doubling this. And then for our password, just an X and then slot or dash W here is your worker name. Mine is called Rabid Mining PC. So that is it. We're all set up in T-Rex Miner to utilize FW Mining. So I did rename it to FW Wooly Pooly. That way it doesn't get mixed up and everything. And the other thing we got to do is make sure T-Rex runs as an admin. I did put those overclock settings in that bat file. They will not work if T-Rex Miner does not run. So make sure you come in here and click run this program as administrator by right clicking properties and going to compatibility. Once that's all set up, double clicking should allow us to start mining. Let's find out. So we're gonna double click on here. It's gonna ask for admin privileges, yes. And then we should be connecting to the pool and be up and mining FW. So I'm just gonna let it play out here for a little bit and then we'll just double check to make sure it all works. Okay, so we're up and running. We are finding some shares here, so Awesome, we got hash rates, we're finding shares, we're mining FPOW. Okay, so now we're gonna check out some AMD GPUs. For this, once you have Team Red Miner downloaded and extracted, we're gonna scroll down and find anything Ethereum based. So we can see Start ETH right here. So I'm gonna right click on this, hit the edit button, and that will bring us into our bat file. So now these are the parameters we gotta change. ETH hash is exactly the same. It's the same algorithm on FW. So this is our pool address, which we're gonna to have to swap out. And this is our wallet address that we gotta swap out, followed by a period, and our worker name would be right here. Starting with the pool, I am copying the Canadian stratum and port. Open up our bat file and just replace it right here. So backspace all this, paste that in. Now we're gonna adjust our wallet address. All right, so I am getting rid of the default address. I'm sure the Team Red Miner devs would not mind you mining to them, but you know what, we want our own crypto here. Now I'm going to adjust the worker name, throw in rabbit WS for rabbit workstation, password X, and that's it. All we gotta do now is simply save this. Just like T-Rex Miner, you're gonna to wanna to come down to Team Red Miner here, right click, go to properties, and then compatibility. Make sure it is running as an administrator. Now, I cannot test overclocks here in my workstation because I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I cannot utilize this to our advantage. But that's it, all you gotta do is simply double click on the bat file now, and you will be up and running, mining FW on AMD GPUs in Windows 10. Let's go check out Hive OS. All right, guys, so now we're in Hive OS. And as you can see, I don't have any of my GPUs online right now, but I'm gonna go into my wallets here. We gotta create a new wallet. Step number one here. So we're gonna add a wallet. And when we go into the coin ticker, it's not added yet, but I'm sure it might be sometime, depending how this coin does. But okay, it looks like they actually do have it here. We don't have to create a wallet, but it just doesn't have a symbol at this point. So we can just put FW here. So that's interesting, was not aware of this, but looks like it's there. Paste our address in there, enter wallet name. So I'm going crypto.com DeFi because that is the wallet I'm using. Name it whatever you want so you know it's there. So we got FW, we got our address, and then the name of the wallet that we want to use. I can name this, you know, test video or whatever, but I'm actually setting this up legitly for myself for some time down the road. So we're going to create that wallet. Next up, we need to create our flight sheet. So I'm gonna go back into, actually, I'm just gonna go straight to flight sheet because why not? So coin and ticker. So now I should just be able to type F 
W, yep, popped up. See the wallet we just made, crypto.com DeFi pool. I'm going to go with Wooly Pooly. It's already in here by default. Where is the Canadian? There we go. Always pick the closest stratum to yourself. Hit apply. And for our miner, so we're doing this with Team Red, or I mean with NVIDIA GPU. So I'm going to utilize T-Rex Miner. And then I'm just going to simply put in, I guess, uh, FW Octobeast. <laughs> there we go. FW Octobeast, all AMD. Create that flight sheet. And once it loads. There we go. It's created. So I don't have any of my rigs on. But now all I would have to do at this point is simply go to my workers here. Hit Octominer 1 and then go to Flight Sheet. Scroll down. And then here's FW. I'd simply hit the rocket ship just like so. It added it in. So it's all engaged. So we would begin mining FW now if I turned my rig on. At this point in time, I don't plan on turning my rigs on. But this is how you would mine it with amd gpus in hive os all right now for everyone with amd gpus we're going to set that up for you so we're going to go to flight sheets here we're going to pick fw exact same wallet and everything pool we're going to go wooly pooly here canada west select the closest stratum to yourself all the time select miner now for amd we're going to go with team red miner they got the r mode nice and efficient a great miner for amd gpus that's what i always recommend and now I'm just going to go, I guess, FW AMD Octobeast. So there we go. Create that flight sheet. Scroll back up here. We're going to go to our workers. And I do have AMD GPUs within worker two. We can see four here. I'm going to go to flight sheet. Scroll down to the one we just made. And then engage that flight sheet. So now the Team Red Miner. We'll start mining on my AMD GPUs, but you did see I do have a mixed rig here. So this isn't 100% going to work with the whole rig. So I actually have to add an additional flight sheet in this flight sheet or at least another worker. So I'm going to add this miner here. Now we're going to add T-Rex to this as well. So we're going to go FW. I'm going to select our wallet, the exact same wallet and everything. I'm going right back. Same pool. Everything is exactly the same. Hit apply. And then I'm going to select T-Rex Miner. There we go. And now we're at Octobiner. So I'm going to go Octobeast Mixed in this case. We're going to update it. Yes, update to all workers. Now this flight sheet will utilize NVIDIA GPUs with T-Rex Miner as well as Team Red Miner with the AMD GPUs. Everything will be detected. So if I only use T-Rex in this case, the AMD GPUs will not mine anything. They'll sit idle. And if I only use Team Red Miner in this case, the NVIDIA GPUs would just sit idle. So I did have to add both miners in for this specific rig. Again, you only need Team Red Miner if you're on AMD and you only need T-Rex if you have NVIDIA GPUs. All right, guys, so hopefully now you should be up and mining FW if you choose to do so. Keep an eye. The price looks like it's been crashed. It's not looking too hot. But who knows? A year down the road, you may be checking out this video and be like, what's he talking about? The price just soared to the moon. We don't know what's going to happen in crypto. FW could be a savior. It could be a pump and dump scam. It could be anything. It's way too soon to tell. The merge just happened. We really have to wait for hash rate to start coming off the network, distributing elsewhere, or whatever. So times are changing, guys. Hopefully this helped you out. I'll see you on the next one. Rabbit out.